blood tests. They're not good. What you have is untreatable. There's still something there between me and Philip. My son, you're old now. You've left your mark upon this land. You worried me yesterday when you took off. Just needed some time to process. I was gonna call Rick. No. I'm glad you didn't. I'm sorry. Don't be. Wanna sit? Uh, that's okay. I. I just want to understand. You know that I wish the news was anything but this, right? Terminal? You're sure? Your lungs have been irreversibly compromised. It's probably from an airborne infection that you got when you were living on the mountain. So what happened was it started in your lungs. It went to your bloodstream. And now it's just a matter of time until your lungs cease to function. There's got to be some kind of treatment somewhere. It's a really rare disease. There's no... There's no cure, you know? I mean, what we can do is we can... Uh, we can treat the symptoms, but there is no way that you can stop the spread of the illness. No cure. And that's it. Okay, how long? I think we should just concentrate on making you Ed, feel comfortable. Not just my doctor. You're my friend. How long? If I had to guess, no more than three months. You know... We could use at least three months to plan a wedding this big, right? Three. Six or, or more. I hope Lizzie and Bill appreciate everything that we're doing for them. But what else would we want to be doing? I mean, this is so much fun. <laughs> letting a wedding this big. I'm thrilled. <laughs> hey. So, mm -hmm. when are you going to tell our moms that they can't plan our wedding? Okay, I'm not going to do that. Mm-mm. You are. I don't dare tell Vanessa. I saw the look in her eye that day. <laughs> I'm not telling her. All right, all right. But look, she's not going to give you that look of disappointment and disapproval that she gives me. <laughs> she loves you. Fine. I'll tell her. You tell my mom. It's a deal. It's a deal. But what are we going to do about the dads? They want to leave them out of the loop. No, they want to be left out of the loop. That's a great thing about dads. They'll be fine. I want you to know that I will do everything I can for you. I will call every specialist there is in this field. There's a counselor I know back in Springfield that you should definitely get in touch with. I mean, you should call a lot of people. You should call your family. Uh, get no, their support. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to tell them about this yet. All right, fine. Then what about Beth? I mean, she's stood by you ever since you guys were little kids. I mean, she would want to know. Your no. children have a right to know. No. Uh-uh. Then Rick, he is your oldest friend. He would you know, want I, I, to I, I, be I know you're there trying to help, you. but I, I gotta, I gotta, I just need to think this through for. Well, what, a little I bit. mean, we I have to talk about the tree. I just, I, I, I gotta get some air.
a beautiful day. Hey. Hey, you okay? Yeah. I can't believe you can move after yesterday's game. My back is killing me. Uh, yeah. I am feeling a little out of it. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's why you got to keep moving. You know, if you keep moving when you're our age, at least you know you're alive. Right, buddy? Yeah. It's true. So you're doing all right? Yeah. Just trying to convince this old geezer to play one more game. Now nah, you should probably knock it off. What do you say? You want to stop by Michelle's tonight? Uh, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm staying. She's actually turned out to be a pretty good cook. I'm sure she is. I, I just kind of feel like I should get home. Oh, come on. Just, just one more day, buddy. No. One more. No, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He wants to go home and see his family. Anyway, thanks. But, uh, Paul, let me know that you get in okay, all right? Okay. We're a great team. <laughs> Take care, Paul. You've never told me to call to let you know that I'm okay. Well, I should. Beth, doesn't that model look like Philip? I mean, he's so handsome. Mm -hmm. Philip always did look good in the tux. <sighs> oh, I wish Lizzie would call me back. Yeah, sweetie, she should call you back. We have a lot to discuss with her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I gotta tell you something. You were very good. Oh. Masterful, in fact. I've never seen anyone handle my mother like that before. Well, you know, it's people skills. Mm. You're either born with them or you're not. Are you insinuating I don't have them? All right, well, tell me this. Are you ready to talk to your mother? No, no, no. Remember the deal where I talk to your mother and then you talk to my mother? Yeah, but that was before I realized that you were people skillful. Oh, no, no, no. See, if they, they don't want to work. So they don't Rimming. work with relatives. They definitely do not work with mothers, so. No? Okay. Come on. I'll do this. With Nana. Lillian. Mm. She'll be putty on my hands. Oh, how are you two beautiful ladies doing today? Oh, he wants something. He definitely wants something. And should we listen to him? Well, he's going to be part of the family, I suppose. Okay, make it good. 